Almighty of GCC Bible College and Theological Seminary in this country and literally abroad. I pastor the full gospel Christian church. 5901, Dr. Martin Luther King at home, having root from blocks and all the Pearson Road, where you always welcome. We got a phone call today that secured our position in Jesus. Uh, you know, one way to know that you're going right is to know where wrong is. They're not smart. So you can leave your going to Memphis. And if you end up in New York, you took the wrong road. And, and that just four directions and then natural. The spirit does only two directions. Up and down. Right or what? Wrong. Demonic or holy? Happy or sad? Weak or strong? In bondage or free? I'll give you the church's itinerary. Sunday morning, Sunday school is 9.30. I'm on in service as well. Evening service, 7 p.m. Tuesday, Bible College, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Wednesday, intercessory prayer. 1.30 p.m. Like tonight, Bible class, 7 p.m. We are on channel 17. Dr. Paulette Simpson is on channel 17 television. The Word of God and National Ministries every Thursday at 7 p.m. But we're here at 7 p.m. She's heard my ministry. And I'm going to some TV. That's a sacrifice. I said, that's a sacrifice. I like to see them TV. I might do the ink. I like it. The father is here. He has to make TV. At the time of the TV is airing. It seemed like a sacrifice. And also give us a way of concern. Well, that's one body, one spirit and well within. All of the members are redeemed. They live free from fear. So Dr. Paulette Simpson is on the top of the TV. And the camera could not mention the full gospel Christian church. And this is the Dr. Paulette Simpson, the word of God international. I find out that's the only kind of ministry because God is the ministry. I took physics when I was at college and the professor took his finger and popped it like that. He said, have you had sense a thousand years from now you could call that sound back. But I got some sense. And I heard God say the wages of sin is death. Now that's all right, but the second part is about the gift of God. It's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. You got to be simple, explicit, and Bible based. To be true. Dr. Michael Cronin. Rise and shine, ministers. Friday, four thirty to five thirty. Dr. Michael Turner, rise and shine, ministers. There are no ministers that are rising, and there are no ministers that are not shining. Because Jesus is the light, what of the whole world. Friday, from four thirty to five thirty. The Full Gospel Christian Church Television Ministry on Channel 17, Sunday from 8 to 10 a.m. 
Monday from 10 to 12 noon, Wednesday from 12 noon to 2 p.m., Wednesday from 9 to 11 p.m., Thursday from 12.30 to 1.30 p.m., Saturday from 1 to 2 p.m., and Saturday again from 7 to 8 p.m. I have a wisdom statement here to full gospel Christian church. It's this. When you learn to learn that others may learn, then you know. When you learn to learn that others may learn, then you know. We're on the web now, www.dreelerfullgospel.com, www.dreelerfullgospel.com. The church number is 810-785-9851. You'll never get me there very seldom. Get me on my cell phone, 810-423-2433. Or you can email us at wheelerphd at t.net. Or you can get us on Facebook. Just type in Facebook. Then type in James Wheeler, sir. So we are all over the place. We're doing better than our best to reach the world. For the Lord Jesus. We're going to pray. Father, we're so thankful. We thank you for your love and your kind and your tender mercy. We live long enough to know ain't nobody like you. <clears throat> you are God. And there ain't nobody like you but your body, the church. Help us now as we teach your word. Give us your understanding, <clears throat> your perception, your spirit, your perception. Help us to read your word. And know that it's what you proclaimed for the world. Touch the body, mind, spirit, heart, and soul. Let us know we are never alone. Help us to understand there's no, no such thing as a big church. You said humble yourself. Under the mighty hand of God, I will exalt you <clears throat> in due time. Heal the sick. Give sight to the blind. Strengthen the weak. Save the laws. Open the ears of those and close their ears to the word of God. I rebuke that suicidal demon. He's a killer. Bind him, Lord, drive him forth from your people. Do it for your bro glory and let us see it. We'll magnify you. Help us to tell the world that don't know what we know. God is a good God. If you don't believe it, watch me. Listen to me. See my life. <clears throat> I have the Holy Spirit. He's the light of my life. We bless you, Lord Jesus. Bless your church everywhere. Everywhere there's small groups gathered together proclaiming you know, Jesus is the answer to this world. Help us not, not to be discouraged. Help us not to follow the mother to them. They're on their way down. You said straight is the way and narrow is the gate that lead to heaven. And few there be. Help us to be satisfied. Comfort us. Let us know we are not alone. You are with us. We worship you for that. We praise you for that. We adore you for that. Don't forget our families, Lord. Remember that wife, that husband, that son, that daughter, that cousin, that nephew, that niece, the grandchildren. Put your arm around 
let the world know that you're the answer for the world today. Do it for your glory and we'll praise you. In Jesus' name, thank God for Jesus. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. <clears throat> Open your Bibles to Psalm 27. We're going to repeat ourselves until Jesus comes. We're going to take a subject. Jesus, our light. We're not like the Pharisees and the Sadducees, always seeking for some new thing. Nothing is new. The Lord Jesus, the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Now learn to study with me. We'll turn over some leaves. We shine some light into some dark places. <clears throat> Psalm 27 been there a long time, is it? But this is a testimony of a king. David was the greatest king ever lived. But look at his testimony in Psalm 27. The Lord is my life. Our subject is Jesus, our life. And then not just not my light, he is my light, but he's also my salvation. And because the Lord is my light and my salvation, whom shall I fear? And beside that, the Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? So we, that's faith and confidence in a deliverer. You that don't read this book, you have been the audience. You too, young teachers. We've got a statement here. If you want me to heed it, read it. Out of my Bible. If you want me to tote it, quote it out of my mind. If you don't know, don't show. God have not called, ordained, and anointed no leader that is confused. Because confusion is not of the law. And when you get so you have to count the number, the seated beingness of God, you lose. The multitude is not on his way to heaven, it's on his way to hell. <clears throat> so the Lord Jesus said, come out from among and be separated. When you do that, then I'll accept you. I'll receive you. And you be my son to my daughter, said Our subject is Jesus. There ain't nothing else to talk about. Jesus. Now that word our implies sanctified folk. Saved people. Blood washed people. Spirit filled people. God obeying people. People loving people in spite of the people being unlovely. So when you say Jesus is our life that implies that the light that Jesus is will shine in the darkness. Now this is what we must understand. When you shine a light in darkness, nobody that that light is going to can see you. Yeah. Did you hear that? So when you show Jesus, people cannot see you. And the brighter the light, the clearer you can see Jesus. And the more explicit they cannot see you. What am I saying? You gotta have the spirit of Christ to have the mind of Christ. 
to have the mind of Christ, you've got to have the anointing of God. To be a light, you must shine Jesus. Because he is the light of what? The world. Now just because you shine Jesus, it doesn't mean that the people in the world are going to come to the light. Because this book said, people love darkness rather than light. But you still on the orders. Let your light so shine. That men will see your good works and glorify your Father. So what gives God glory? Your good works. That men see and you live right. Thank God we don't have no batteries in this country because batteries lose their power. It's like a backslidden saint. In Psalm 27, David is praising God for his life. And God's life is the second word in Psalm 27 and 1. God's light is the law. <clears throat> the Lord is my light. That's what it says. The Lord is. Look, 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 look how personal it is. Somebody wrote a song. Yes, Jesus loves who? Me. Yes, Jesus loved me. If keep repeating. Yes, Jesus loved me because the Bible told me so. People looking for all kind of solutions for the violence, trouble of the world. Jesus, he's there. He said, "I said, don't come to condemn you. Come to save you. When I save you, go out and let your light shine, so men will see your good works and glorify the Father." So the problem with the world is one simple thing. You're not looking at the glory of God. And it's in the life of the saints of God. I wish I knew. You see a ship on the ocean? I don't care how big that ship is. They got when I was a boy called a lighthouse. And they put that lighthouse on a hill. That was just sort of an accent, I don't think. No, you look at all the people who are there and you say, well, gee, where is Chris Christie? It's probably so if you get in trouble, all you have to do is look up. Yeah? That's real. Then they took the light and hung it on a tree. And it looked like the light went out for three days and three nights. No, he went down in hell and lit hell up and brought some people up out there with him. So if you live in holy, the cross have no place for you. You've come off of the cross. And those that will belittle you, damn you, bring you down, they speak as though they have control of the effects of the cross. You, you know, you, you think you sin. Don't react to that. All y'all do is just go to church. Y'all never have no fun. Don't pay attention to that. When I was a boy, they'd say they're trying to get your goat. The devil is trying to get you to address, take a part of this conversation. When you take a part of the devil's conversation, you just put on you the life of the devil. We're supposed to hear Jesus, 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 Jesus. And when somebody says something different, you say, uh, Holy Ghost said, uh, uh. When you get so busy, they start taking care of your business and your stuff. You're not reading God's word enough. It's like walking on thin ice on a fifth foot of water. 
every step you take is only grace. We're not obedient. So we got to be wise. Leave the devil out of your business. How come, Will? He came for three things. The first thing you have to do is steal. They didn't kill. That he can destroy. But that same verse, Jesus said, Yeah, but I am come. That they may have life. You can have that life more abundantly. There is no way you're going to listen to the teachers in this ministry and be confused. It is literally impossible. How come? God taught me, I taught them. Now they're teachers. Because <laughs> huh? the Lord said, bring up the children in the way they ought to go, and when they get old, they, they, won't, they won't stray from it. Uh, our subject Jesus I like it so where Jesus is not there's darkness so if Jesus is not in your heart you have darkness in your heart you need the Lord of Light in your life. When the Lord of Life come into your life, He put the gospel in your mouth, and the gospel that's in your mouth came out of your soul, because the soul winner lives in you, and you will desire to get somebody to know Jesus. Now, if they don't know Jesus, they're not right. If they're not right, they're not going to do right. If they're not right, they ain't going to live right. If they're not right, they ain't going right. right, to treat you right. So you have to give them Mr. Right. But you can't, you know, little babies won't eat what they don't want. They'll see that turn out. So this book said, Whosoever Will. Yes, sir. In order to win national election, Satan, let him come and receive me, the Lord Jesus. Our subject, Jesus. Look how fluid it is. Our light. David said in Psalm 27, The Lord is my light. Now you let him be your light if you want to, but he's mine. And beside that, he's my salvation. He's my savior. And because of that, whom shall I fear? Because the Lord loved me and I loved him back. He's my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength. Of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Now, this is Bible teaching. Come in here. I'll listen to the radio for 30 minutes. And the person who's calling me preaching is he was given an experience that had in Paris. You can understand the Redeemer. That's all right. In the here of God, you don't have to wait for some pine of sky thing. He's doing that. If you don't give chapter and verse, right now, the word of God, the devil will de teach what you say. It's good to give an experience. That's good. But you must circle that experience around Jesus. It's good to tell people what I went through and what burden I had, but pretty soon I got to tell him, but the Lord, you got to put Jesus in your conversation. And they was quick to mention the fact that we were in Paris. 
That's a statement of prestige. Why couldn't they say St. John Street? You must be able to discern spirit from flesh. Self-exaltation a godly exaltation. And people that are well trained and brilliant intellectually, they can come so close. Can't trick me though. Because when you get smart, I get dumb and go straight to Jesus. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. I said, Lord, don't let me be confused. That's a mighty thing. Lord, don't let me believe nobody but you. See, you can only confuse intellectual people, people that are smart. But if you lose all of your intellect and replace your intellect, salvation, you're not going to be confused. Our intent, all the saints' intent, that purpose is to please God no matter what. And if you live on this earth, you're going to have a whole lot of no matter what. But this Bible tells us, look your eye, let your eyes look straight on. Not that way, this way. Our subject can be in Psalms 27. Jesus, our life. If your conversation doesn't radiate from this book, if your conversation doesn't have Jesus at the center of it, you're lying. And the lying mother's confusion. God say, I am not the author of confusion, but love and peace as in all the churches of the living God. Jesus, our light is our subject, and we are in Psalms 27, and I'm enjoying myself. With the television outreach, there's no telling where this ministry is going. When she ran for the Senate, she said she feel fighting for me. Listen, call me from Johannesburg. I'm listening to you now, Doc. So don't tell me Channel 17 can't cross that wall. Nothing is too hard. The question I'm really asking is can you identify when you last took For Wall God. Street Banks to trial? Anyone else want to tell me about the last time you took a Wall Street Bank to trial? Jesus. I'm really concerned that two our life. To fail has become to the Lord is my life. life. Do you see how personal it is? When you take that fourth, that fourth word out of Psalm 27 and 1, you just backslid. You can talk about him being everybody light. And that might be true. But if he's not your light, you're not called to tell other people, let him be their light. You cannot give what you do not have. That $83 billion says it worry you? Jesus, our life. Psalm 27. The subject of this is the Lord. The Lord is the kind of person that he is. My life. And beside that, he's my salvation, too. And because of that, whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength. Of my life. So that means the saints are not weak. And the cause did not weak. Whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes came upon the heat of my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Jesus tripped them up. When mothers were mothers and babies were babies, you'd see the mother sitting on the front porch watching her babies play. She gave them orders. Don't go near the street. If you do, I'm spanking you. So to be playing the ball and the ball running the street, 
Mama. This is what God said. Obedience. It better than being run over by a truck. Obedience is better than sacrifice. So if you if you don't obey God, it's gonna cost you. Someone called me today, said, Cedric, Cedric, Cedric. A woman committed suicide. I know where she is now. She said, hell, you can't kill yourself and confess your sins. Suicide is a one-way ticket to hell. And once you get there, there ain't no way to get out. When I was a boy, they taught me, be careful, little eyes, what you see. <clears throat> Careful eyes, what you see. Because the Father up above, He's looking down in love. Be careful, the eyes, what you see. Be careful, look to Him, what you say. Be careful, look to Him, what you say. Because the Father up above, he's listening down in love. Be careful, Lord Tom. What you say? To gain eternal approval of God. There's one conversation you must have. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, 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 nothing else will gain God's approval than that word, Jesus. First Corinthians 15 tells me the 20th verse, when Jesus have done all that God assigned him to do, he went back back up into God that God might be all in all. They started the justice for Too late then, son. Can't Peaceful get in. Conflict resolution. And in the first three and a half years of the seven years, it's ended, and the church is just left. To gun Going to heaven. Germany the subject is, is Jesus our Lord. And Tracy Martin and their it got to be personal. Thank you all for being here tonight. Thank you very much. Someone called me today. I know God called me to teach us all. I said, when is the last time you've been to church? Well, I, let, I was at your church in June. I tell you what you do. You, you, you eat last June and don't eat no more till February. A certain level of pain when you lose a child. There's and no such thing as a Holy Ghost fast. The flesh can fast. When you fast, that's the Holy Ghost wicked ground. He can talk to you. When you turn your back on the flesh, you just face glory. Somebody told me they fast for seven days. By turning the negative yeah. into a positive. And, and I think that's what keeps us going. Yeah, you got the Holy Spirit. Keep his name going the but you got to deal with this flesh. The Bible says, you know, submit, the submit the yourself. Because one of the things that has most impressed mm -hmm. me, I've worked with a lot of. Uh, uh, submit so yourself into the, the will of God, and He will you exalt you. And do time. This is not your freedom. This flesh is not your freedom. We want to teach you about their rights as teenagers, about something. their rights um, regarding profiling. The so that's one of the things that we do. We can also only speak um, created a, a scholarship to program flesh. to help them further their education once they pass high school and they will have to pursue approach. a higher education. So. Also, we... Um, Trying to revise and, and your soul you know, is the house of Jesus, and also, there ain't no also devil in hell who's gonna knock on the door where Jesus was. Because Jesus went down in hell and dealt with that devil, that's why you say now, nah, heaven and earth, they leave hell out. Jesus took care of that. Took him three days and three nights, he took care of it and came up boasting, I'm up, y'all, in all power. Look what he said in heaven and earth. Is in my hand. He took care of the power of hell. 
So when we learn to focus our thoughts on Jesus, Jesus would help us to peel away the concerns that has nothing to do with nothing. So you're two months behind on your household. Thinking about your household is not going to get it paid. Here's a prayer. This is my prayer. Lord, what? Help me. I want to remember that he was an average teenager, that he had a family that loved him, he had friends that loved him, he had I just had a vision. You see, if this and is flesh, he was a and this is he spirit, was a spirit can't go up until flesh go down. So when you die in self, you come alive in yourself. You got to deal with this body. Your body is not the friend to your soul. See, your soul can't be impatient. Listen to me. Your soul can't hate. Your soul is your spiritual person that got his eyes right on Jesus. The scripture says, let your eyes look what? Straight on. Don't turn to the left or to the right. That's what you call holiness. And when you get that book at home that's not like God, and you want to thumb through it, you lost. You can't look through a worldly book and have the mind of Christ. Those two things do not exist. And when you think about it, you hear God say, I, I, oh, He ain't going to argue with you. He will warn you. You can go home and sleep in your bed at night, and that's not allowed. I wake up at Joan Motors, and preached in Pontiac, uh, on that late for work. And I appreciate you doing this on a night that's so heavy. I'm driving on that ice 90 miles an hour. What can you say? You on ice. You from all over the country, and even internationally. What would the you say to parents who've lost their children? Look at the Lord. I would just tell them that we need to stand together, because the numbers is what really counts. Oh, Jesus. Because Jesus said, um, oh. there are people that have lost kids. He said, don't hit the brakes, just slow down. In Jacksonville, in Chicago, and even in Miami, yes. people are hurting so that, you don't know, snatch the wheel, really just something really needs down. to be done. But I would just tell them to make I got down about 25 up, miles now. To think about the good times that they have with their minors, with their I was kids, going with up their children. Remember the good times. And that's right there. On oh, ice. To the next day. God, I've been looking out for me a lot. But people uh, keep telling me what you don't know or hurt you, it'll kill you. Kill you. The, the Newtown, uh, so we come up with these scriptures and, and only by the grace of God. Uh, Ron Davis, uh, I am. And, and what I am. And we come up with songs to God. What? To a, father, father, don't take no credit for that. Um, we are all insufficient. Is this, is this, is this, Went to Africa right, one time. And when I got there, I had problems sleeping. Because I crossed the, the time zone. And the time I think I should have been sleeping, other people was getting up. We went to fly. It took me two or three days my to adjust myself. Because I felt that we should make sure that this kind of situation when God should not be handled in the back Introduce of new things to you. It should be in a court of law. And this family... You have to allow your soul so to eat it Justice before you try to express it with your mouth. And that's what we're going to call for. Because God don't force you. these. One day at a time, sweet Jesus. That's all I'm asking you. When Jesus feeds you, he feeds you as if you were a child. 
Because we are the children of God. And only Jesus know how much and how and what. See the most people in our so I get back to my basic prayer. Law no and what? They didn't choose they didn't decide, I don't they didn't know buy a ticket, it's surely the decent and humanitarian thing to do, to reach out to those children and say to them, you may have been brought Went to pay my gas bill the other day. You now have the chance of becoming a Hundreds and hundreds of dollars they here and at the church. They take it in the least, houses and because they want to be. I paid so much extra every time I paid my gas bill. So that when the click out the consumer added up all my gas bill, I only owed $125. He said, you can plug it if it ain't your doc. I said, yes, I And though he had never left, he Here's some words you must have in your spirit. Are you going to leave it? Faith. Faithfulness and what? Consistency. You've got to have faith. You must be faithful and you must be consistent. Never give up. Things get hard, that's on the outside. When you look at the world through your intellectual eyes, you will see no hope. Killings everywhere. Rapings, suicide, <clears throat> house being broken into, murder. <clears throat> Your soul don't consider that. <clears throat> My Bible said, let your eyes look straight on me. They're looking up straight on me. <clears throat> what, need, what we must learn as the body of Christ. When to stop talking to God, he's not going to interrupt your conversation. So when I get a serious problem, I say one word, Jesus. Listen to me and learn me. And I don't tell God all about the problems I got. Then God will know that I don't have my eyes. Mm -hmm. See, the devil come to steal. He can't kill till he steals something from you. Your faith. He comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Don't stop right there. Jesus said, yeah, that's, that's what he come for, but I can't. Take back what he stole. Give you life when he tried to kill you. Build you up when he tried to destroy you. So Jesus, I came that you might have life and that you might have that life more. Abundant, abundant life is godly surrenderance to the word of God. That's the only way you're going to see abundant life. You've got to surrender some more yourself to your Savior. I was subject. Jesus. Our life. Notice I didn't say Jesus, my life. He is, Psalm 27, the word says so. But our subject is Jesus, our life. Let's read more about this light. Jesus came to take love and penetrate hate. Jesus came to take hope and penetrate hopelessness. Jesus came to give us boldness instead of fear. 
So whatever the world engineer and offer to us, God got just the opposite. For fear, we got boldness. For weakness, we got strength. For loneliness, we got to come to keep. He's the opposite of the waking of the enemy. And we get so deep, we get lost in theology and forget to talk about how good God is. The gospel is the good that God put in Jesus that Jesus would love to put in us. Remember the ten virgins? All of them were saved when they went into that house. But five of them didn't take no extra oil for the lamp. They didn't remain obedient. So when they knocked, God knocked on the door. The unfaithful five asked the faithful five, give us of your oil. Listen to it and understand. Our lamps. Go on. We are now subject to darkness. Because we didn't take that extra oil with us when all hell got breaking loose. We forgot how to ask the Lord. Lord, help me. And the one, the five that had the oil said, No, lest there will be enough for you and us. Go and buy oil for yourself. And they went. And when they came back, the door was shut. They didn't have to put themselves on record for so no better reason out. than to undermine the successful Our subject. functioning of the government. They Jesus. Our light. And I would like to bore your so mind so I can reason. feed your squad. Do you know why the government is grinding to a halt these days? Why people on both sides can't seem to find a way to work together? So and Psalm 27 and 2 says, <coughs> when they're wicked. Now this is the life we live in right here on this earth. Everybody. When they're wicked, even my enemies and my foes look, came up on me to eat up my flesh. Here's the deliverance. They stumble and fail. See those enemies? Three of them. The wicked, the enemies, the foes came up on me to eat up my flesh. But Jesus took them up, caused them to stomach, brought them down to nothing. Now, you just see three enemies there in Psalm 27 and 2. But the third verse says, though a host, a whole bunch of them, should encamp against me, should surround me. Look at the boulders of righteousness. My heart shall not fear. Though these hosts around me become an army, army, the wall should rise against me, and this will I be confident. What? The second verse. When the wicked and the enemies, my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though the host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me. In this will I be confident. One thing have I desired of the Lord. That's, that's what you got to do. Turn that other stuff on. Now, Emma called me today. We were on television for two hours Sunday morning. No sound. Emma said, Pastor Wheeler, I know there was sound on that tape. Not one sound. Let's talk about the look looking forward and what this does to our government. We've got a government the that's devil. closed down a lot of defense spending in the next couple of months. It's going to hurt a lot. We have a potential, we have a war we're still fighting. I wish everybody remembered that. He's a loser. War in Afghanistan. Men and women are out there on the front one post right now, in some cases, scared to death where they're stuck. Here's the important thing. I mean, they're back here, couldn't even agree on a Secretary of Defense. Safe. 
What's it do to the world, military? What's it do patience. to our future potential for saving money and defense? The and devil wanted us at one another's throats. Oh, I, I think if you had done that, this, we would have. Yeah, 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 yeah,
the same question, why do they keep bringing up Benghazi? What's this in their being there? Is it the well, fact that God was born? Now, to receive yeah, Jesus, well, I, I think for them, I, there, there, there's the flesh must lose its authority over you. Now. Where they're, they're natural heroes and they think that this is a marker for You don't like reason monster, Jesus in your heart. No. If you're not in the right place on that, you're not you have a, to you're confess not a him. hero stewarding the interest of the country. Oh, the, right I'm a sinner. the deeper thing is, this is a time where the other side really just wants to tear down the president God. any way he can and to do it viciously every day over and over again. I read the other day this man with the other shade. Now, I have to be one of those that John McCain uh, and even Lindsey Graham. Are really about that. He said, Lord, I think that the Ted Cruz's and Inhofe's are. I think that they're voting against everybody. Right. Well, I don't know if you will or not, but if you will, I, 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 you I mean, know you can make me clean. There's a game of slander that's coming uh, out of U.S. Senate offices today. Jesus fought at that state. That we haven't seen in Jesus fought at that state. I will. That's what we should be worried about. We saw the stand-up that we're going to prove by the end of these hearings that he said that I said my Remember that? That's all you have to do. Remember that? 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 Remember even a fool did not have from New York. You know, in the last I put of those years, doctors' degrees uh, in the bottom drawer somewhere and I haven't seen them for years. years. Get in touch with, 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 with New I York. thought I could steady myself into the first four years. In the last couple of years, he raised his hand a lot with the Tea Party. People have seen what happened to Richard Luber. I mean, there were people who were considered reasonable conservatives. My pastor had a third-grade education. And you could take the scriptures out of the Bible and write it on a piece of paper. She could now, not read it on that paper, but she could read it when it's in the book. That's why I got my understanding from that. Sister, we don't know this. They're incredible when they come to the general. Of course, they don't have general elections in South Carolina. She told me, boy, I kneel down now. Get this boy for your vision. Oh, get this your boy's understanding. Get up, boy. Just like that. She didn't put it on there. We take statements and we just make it worldly statements. Like God is love. God is love. He ain't nothing but love. It is the love of God that wrote St. John 3.16. God so loved the world. He did something about it. He gave his only father's son, the Lord Jesus, for this reason, that whosoever call upon the name of the Lord Jesus shall be saved. I know never get too smart to forget that. Jesus is the Savior. We need it to be saved. We were in bondage. Jesus broke the bondage. We were hungry. He became food. He said, I am the bread of life. This is what this Bible teaches simple stuff. I'm going to come and sit there. I'm going to sit there. Look at the deliverance of God in Psalm 27, the third verse. Though a host, now a host is a whole bunch of folk. Though a whole bunch of folk should encamp against me. Now look and learn. This is where Satan would like to put fear. My heart shall not fear. Though a whole host of enemies got me surrounded. My heart. Shall not feel. How come? Well, God is not the author of fear, but of love and of peace, as in all the churches of the living God. David said, Though a whole host surround me, I'm not going to receive no fear from the de devil that authors it. 
You can't read God's word and end up with a fearful spirit. So if you don't want to inherit a fearful spirit, you got to read and read and reread and reread and ask the Lord, Lord, what did I read? Don't read for understanding. Read for deliverance. Because you can't give understanding away. But you can get somebody to deliver. If your God is dead, well, why don't you try mine? He woke me up this morning. And he started me on my way. I was subject. And we've been teaching an hour now. Jesus. We can just leave that alone. Jesus. I subject Jesus. Because he is our light. Or we can say our subject is light. Any true statement you can read it forward and backwards. Jesus. Our light. Light. Our Jesus. We're not smart, so we read Psalm 27 and 4. The first two words in Psalm 27 and 4. One thing. We get too smart for our britches. One thing have I desired of the Lord. Now you ain't going to get it until you read the other part. That what I seek after. So if you're not seeking something, asking don't mean nothing. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call up him while he's nigh. Let the wicked man forsake his ways, the evil man his thoughts. I'm quoting the scripture now. Our subject, Jesus. Who is he? Well, he's our light. Fourth verse, Psalm 27. I got all kind of stuff written down here. Psalm 27 and 4. One thing. I ain't, I ain't think about a whole bunch of stuff. I'm going to specialize. You, you, you see, you go to the doctor, you know. They got doctors that specialize or operate on the heart. So you, when you go to the hospital with a heart problem, don't go to the doctor that specializes in lungs operation. And nobody but Jesus can make a total operation of the whole human personality. The scripture says, seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he's near while you still have a desire to hear him. See how the Lord run reference? He that have an ear to hear, this is Bible, let him hear what the Lord is saying to the church. Analyze it now. Not he that have ears, because it's just one body. He that have an ear to hear, and this is very important, let him hear what God is saying to the church. Now if you have an ear to hear God, you're not going to hear what other people say about this book. And there are more liars out there and Holy Ghost field teachers. I'm born and raised down south. Y'all don't know that. So. Here's a hen, got 10 eggs. She'll sit on those eggs until they hatch. When the little baby chicken, little bitty, when the baby chicken is born, they know that chicken. You can have 50 hens in one hen house. All of them can have 10 eggs under them. 
Now this is a miracle here. <laughs> that mother chicken that cluck, 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 cluck. All the, all the hens are saying that. You, that's a miracle right there. All the little bitties, they just got born yesterday. Now listen to me, saints. It seems like if a little baby chicken know the voice of their mama, you should justify Jesus when they say, my sheep, yeah, he said it. Yeah, he did say it. My sheep know my voice, and a stranger, yes, sir, uh, they will not follow. You see how you can parallel, God can show you things in the natural that you can relate to the spiritual. Now look at it, when a baby a human baby is born, they don't know who their mother is. You can take them out of that jungle and give them to a gorilla. That tell me that God works in mysterious ways. God works in mysterious ways is wonders. Perform. I'm born and raised down south, so I'll use natural illustration. Here's a horse, half a little baby horse called a coat. Got ten horses out there, had ten little coats. This horse here would not notice that other horse's coat, you'd kick him in there. <laughs> oh, God, help me, help me. If a mother horse knew her baby, this would confirm What God said. He said, I know those that are mine. <laughs> so you don't have to prove nothing. God is omnipotent. He got all power. He's omnipresent. He's everywhere at the same time. He's omniscient. He knows everything. So it's a safe thing, church, to put your trust in God concerning anything, everything, and everybody. And by just, just repeat my prayer. Lord, what? Help me. Now let me show you where emotions can come in. In understanding will not. Well, <clears throat> praise the Lord. Hey, 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 hey. Well, there's no information in those statements. They came to pump up the emotion. If you got a big balloon full of air and you don't want that air to take you away, you better put a hole in that balloon. Emotion is a demonic balloon. It will take you away from the anointing. And it's kind of close in that you can feel the anointing. It's real. And you can spiritually react to the anointing of the Holy Spirit. And someone can say the same words with emotion. 
and your emotion will react to that emotional statement if you're not good and saved. This is what it means when the Lord says study. Listen to it now. To show yourself approved unto the Lord. Now listen to me. How does self become approved unto the Lord? It must be slain. Confusion comes to the flesh, the intellect. I need to feed my little babies, the teeny weeny babies. They can't talk. But when they get enough, they'll, they'll push their tongue out. Don't put nothing else in my mouth. They understand, but can't speak our language yet. And the Lord says, out of the mouth of babes and sucklings, I, the Lord God, have ordained perfect praise. So they take the babies and put them in the basement and call it children church. When the Lord Jesus rebuked the disciple for driving the babies away, he said, permit them to come and don't drive them away. For such is the kingdom of God, little babies. That bring this scripture into focus. Humble yourself. Where? Under the mighty hand of God that will exalt you in due time. And you is not flesh. You are spirit flesh cannot contain nothing that's not fleshly. And the spirit will not receive nothing that's not spiritual. But remember now, Satan is a spirit. He is a lying spirit. And just like Jesus cannot lie, the devil cannot Tell the truth. Because if you know the truth, the truth will make you free. And Satan didn't come to make you free. He come to put you in bondage. So he will take the word of God and flip it over. He talked to the Lord Jesus about that in Luke. In Luke 1. He said, if you be the Lord. Turn the stone here to bread. If you be the Lord. See that word if? It's a preposition. That man with that leprosy. He told Jesus, I know who you are. But I still got leprosy. And I also know, because I heard the gospel before. If you had a mind to, because I heard the preacher say it, you can make me clean. Jesus didn't quote scripture to him. He became the scripture. He said, I will be thou clean. And right away, leprosy was gone. Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and forever. You must put Jesus in the center of your message or you are lying. And the best way to put him there, open the book and read him. Don't try to get him way away. No, any way you open the book, just read him. You're talking about Jesus. So is it, uh, you got started on it already? Jesus, I would like, and I'm enjoying myself. Oh, okay. And because of my son, Jesus. Off. Oh, okay. And I stopped and being personal with it. Jesus is life. our light. But David said, I don't want to be public. In Psalm 27, the Lord is my light. Now you can choose him if you want, but he's mine. 
Somebody said, you can take the whole world. Well, that's very good. Give me Jesus. Now you have that antibody that sounds good. Well, I'm glad you called me because I've been missing Listen you. I tried to call you a couple Nobody of times. can give you. And text you. Jesus. But I guess you were busy, huh? Nobody can oh. give you. Okay, well, tell everybody Jesus. I said hello. You can be an invitation. All right. I you love you. Stand in Jesus and say, come to All Jesus. right, be good. He'll save you. Bye you bye. Me when I came to you. <laughs> what we need to understand, Jesus okay. don't what, uh, need where you gotta go? Uh, uh, Yahoo help. Uh, Gmail. The world does. Hopefully that will So we have to shine the studio, so that one should be music. Hold this as a bright light in the eyes of those that don't want to see the light. Which now one you is close it? your That's eyes in here right now, and you know the light's on. Hey, man, you can see it right through your eyelids. So if when you're preaching holiness and someone out there is not ready to be saved now, they saw it. And later on, they remember, oh, this is who they was talking about. Talking about right Jesus. What is that? He's a friend of mine. You can leave off. Hey, hey, hey. No, you, you, it's all right to say that, but the first part is the, the right. I'm telling you, let us say one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, Dogged, seven, eight. kicked, stomped, spin on, okay. but I'm oh, still reading. The Lord still is my light. Oh, and he is my salvation. Who okay. should I be afraid? You're not supposed to try to make the devil please when you're walking away from him. The Lord told me this about the scripture. Who's ever will let him come? He's not saying, who's ever will let him come? He said, who's ever will Satan? Let him come. The devil get a hold on you with your feeling, your emotion. Your money, your prestige, your authority, your power, your position. Those, um, the sun's gonna be printed in till you see the blue on there. Jesus. Okay. Our light. Now, when Jesus becomes our light, we receive a commandment from Him let your light so shine. That men will see your good works that I am to you and glorify me. So when you get good and saved, tongues don't come next. The light that you got, turn it on. Let people see Jesus. Now people can't see Jesus by the way you talk. See this flashlight here? Come on, light. Shine right now. Shine. No, no. A physical light, you got to touch a button. A spiritual light, all you have to do is release it. Now you can take a penny match and go to the darkest spot on earth and scratch that match. At that point where that match is, <laughs> there ain't no darkness there. So God said, let your light shine in such a way that men will see your good works. So what is your light, your works? And what will they do? They are glorify the Father. So we're learning tonight how to move the candle out of the darkness so that men might see. Because the Bible said, God is light. And there's no darkness in him at all. So that's, it ain't no never out pretty close, almost holiness. It's holy or it's hellish. I'm going to read it for you. 
I was served. Uh, it's Jesus. I don't know. The fourth verse in Psalm 27. See how you specialize. You ain't gonna go to no hospital on earth and find a heart special. There's also a lung special. There's also a kidney special. No, sir. One thing have I desired of the Lord, just one thing. And that will I seek after. What? That I might shine the light of Christ in the world. Nobody, no killer, no murder, no raper, no robber, no nothing, nobody can ignore that light. Uh, no doctor, I hate to bug you. Got afraid when he was crucified. You eating him. your dinner? You uh, eating your dinner? And he ran uh, out. You eating your dinner? Him, yeah. Warm his oh, hand up the end of his fire. I'm eating my dinner. Okay, I <laughs> want to get cold. Three of the enemies <laughs> recognized him. Okay, I tried to attach it. Mm-hmm. Right. He said, Right. You were one of his disciples. So I just click on it. Yeah, one. He said, I'm not neither. No, I ain't no son. Choose. Within an hour, another it's person comes to you. You were one of his disciples. Mm -hmm. Peter said, no, I ain't. Oh. The third time, what? my Bible said he cursed. How's that? Then the rooster crowed, cock-a-doodle you. And Rudy said, I know you, you're going to die, Jesus. Mm. Let me tell you something. What? That demons still have the same oh. mode of operation to try to make you deny that you know Jesus. But I'm going to tell you the truth. When it comes to me, he can't get that done. He cannot get it done. I'm sold out. I am a slave for the master. To the extent that the Lord called us and said, well, I will no more call you slaves or servants. Because the servant and the slave don't know the business of the master. And if you're going to go and tell my business, you got to know my business. So from now on, I'm going to call you friend. <laughs> you see, if a sinner was in here now, Something else. I'm not saying nothing that would confuse him. Because every word is Jesus. And Jesus said, I am not the author of confusion, of love, and peace, as in all the churches of the living God. Mm. So David said in Psalm 27 and 4, Lord, there's one thing I desire of you. Jellyfish, and, and jelly fish, That what I seek after. That is, <laughs> you can't pray without faith. So David told the yeah. Lord in Psalm 27, 4, huh? one thing have I desired of you, look, and that will I seek after. I'm going to go for it. That is, I'm going to allow more of my flesh to die so my soul can see what I desire from you. Flesh will get in your way. <laughs> college students say KY <laughs> what the hell is you talking about the family of yeah, going well, to man, school for self, uh, business administration what kind of business <laughs> is you doing <laughs> well dad is going on all around me and to inquire uh, in this temple In Psalm 27 and 5, we're going to go into the livers now. For in the time of trouble, this is what Jesus is going to do. He's going to hide me in his pavilion. In the secret place of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me up on God, the rock. Not just of ages, of eternity. 
Since that happened, Psalm 27 and 6 say, and now, because I'm here, I'm on a rock. And now shall my okay, head be lifted know. up above my enemies around and about me. I am surrounded by enemies. But because the fifth verse, in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion, in the secret places of tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me up about a rock. And from that place shall my head be lifted up above my enemies round about me. Therefore, because I'm lifted up above my enemies, I will offer in his tabernacle Sacrifices of joy. Lord, I show thank you. I praise you and I give you glory. I will sing. Yeah, I will sing praises unto the Lord. David had a lot to say about the Lord, particularly in Psalms. Seven verse in Psalm 27. Our subject is Jesus, our light. Psalm 27. No, nope, I don't know how to do that. Here. Okay. And I don't know oh, nothing about garage man. When I cry with my boys. Scott's Have mercy also upon me and answer me. That's a that's a prayer request. Mm -hmm. Lord, hear when I cry with my boys. Lord have mercy also upon me. And then answer me. That's the way you pray. Don't pray if there be a Lord anywhere. We pass by that now. Well, you're supposed to pass by it. Here's what I have concluded and that you're on your way to conclude. Jesus is God's answer for the world. Without Jesus, you don't got no answer. Nope, I don't see it. Okay, let me see, huh? Here's a, the address is I where I have never I seen see if I can spiritually. Guy at the studio to send him. A praise Does team he have that a, practice um, how to dance my, praises. Well, yeah, he's the engineer at the studio, so he probably has... Mm -hmm. The capability of a. If you had a drop box, he could just drop them right here. When I first started. Oh, we could send them from there? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Okay, so Big I can have a praise to And ask him if he can send the performance tracks in the drop box. Question. You want to send them to him or he? you want him to send them to you? I'm trying to send the tracks Absolutely. to the background. The people to in the background. Oh, well, unless that person has a Dropbox so on their the computer, they can't right. do it. So it's black. From that time forward, I don't hear you. Oh, I hear black. God. Pure. Rob me did You see, to know that you're in the center of the road, you must be sensitive on both sides of the road. This ain't no one-way gospel. This book also tells you. No, darling, thank you. Let me just get these addresses in here. Shall be saved, plus nothing, minus nothing. So those young girls that now are grown women with three or four babies apiece, all they have to do is remember what we said when they were here. They remember. You didn't catch up with your people? Who? In a certain place when people come to talk that? about how good God is, uh, the people scream. I, left, I put it in, your, in, in the air. Oh, I didn't even see that. There are still people who don't want you telling them, you know God, show is a gum or set to hey. God show is a good God. How do you know will he been good to me? When? Before I got good, he was good. But that's so that I wouldn't drop it. I was like, I was up, but I said, I opened it up. I'm bearing gifts. I said that you just did ears. 
Jesus, our light, and we're in song. I, I, I had to uh, go down there and get the eggs from this my chicken. David had. He was a I went down there and got the eggs from my chicken. But if you didn't oh, okay. know David was a king, <laughs> when you read this yeah, book, you like wouldn't I know he was a king. got the eggs from the chickens of the woman down there. And they pulled it down. But there's a king that have got a kingdom right, greater right, than right, David's kingdom. Chicken, okay. <laughs> It's at a high pitch. High people right now. I have found David, a man of my own heart. Our subject, Jesus, our Lord, and we in Psalm 27. The fifth verse is direct deliverance in Psalm 27. For in the time of trouble, now listen to me, you know we all have trouble. Psalm 27 and 5. In the time of trouble, All right, let me call time right God quick. the Father shall hide me in his pavilion. When trouble comes, it comes to destroy, to divert your mind away from the one that can save you from the troubler. So we won't write this song, Trouble in my way. I have to cry sometimes. Listen to me. That song don't believe don't belong to you. When trouble is in your way, Psalm twenty seven and five. In the time of trouble, God shall hide me. So right in trouble, God hides you. Trouble didn't go nowhere. You got hid in God in spite of Hi, the Tom. This is Lynn. I just sent you an That's email. The the um, I was trying the to send the performance tracks so uh, to the background, but I met my That's friend's computer way. and the file they exceeds the limit level. that I'm able to That's send it. Um, if you could, uh, if it's a charge, please, I'd, I'd be willing to pay it. I sent you two email addresses. If you could send the performance said, tracks to you. them. I would another, appreciate it. Would you give me a call a, back or send me an email to let me know if you're able to do that? And then those Thanks, that Tom, don't love you short notice. Of God. And hopefully you're so at the we studio. Need to get the simplicity All right. love of the reality of holiness. God is love. That's all he is. Now you can't make him be nothing else. Jesus said, I didn't come to judge the world. I didn't come to condemn the world. But that through me, they might be saved. Now, don't preach condemnation. Don't stop talking about sin. That's the thing that condemns. Our subject is Jesus, our light. And we are in the fifth verse in Psalm 27. For in the time of trouble, God shall hide me. I remember Damon Harris. Right. In the time of trouble. Listen, okay. If we're not in trouble now. All if right. This is not troubling. Thank time, you, Doctor. Oh, my mercy. You every time I, I open these doors, oh. somebody come in. I couldn't tell who's talking to on the phone. Like, okay. This guy used to go all the and way we back go in out. the bathroom. And we go out. And we talk. You better I'm understand like it. More power, more peace, right, more will. love, more forgiveness, because those are the attributes of the heart of God. Amen. And take this tape that Paul had has cut back there. Put it on television. I don't know how many millions of people, yea, billions, will hear this teaching. And we're not limited to a particular locale. We're not limited. All we got to do is let God use the computer. Mm -hmm. See, God is the computer. He's a man life might be 60, 75, maybe 80. He's computing it. And by reason of strength, maybe 90. Well, in May, I'll be 79. That's one from the top 80. So if y'all go ever hear me, <laughs> better hear me now. 
And I'm going to give you a warning. When I leave, you're going to miss me. Not my person, but this book. And when it seems heavy, God's going to replace me. Because he said, I will not leave you comfortless. I will send the Holy Ghost to you. Hmm? Now at my age, it is very important for me to get ready and stay ready. Because the Bible says, you not know not the day or the hour. You don't have to get sick to die, you know. Ah, uh, what subject is? And your body don't have to wear out either. Mm -hmm. Jesus, our light. Psalms 27 and 5. Now you need to get this because we live in trouble. For in the time of trouble, God the Father shall hide us in this revealion. In the secret place of his tabernacle shall he hide us. He shall set us up upon a rock. And now, since I'm on the rock, shall my head be lifted up above the enemies that's running about me. They didn't go nowhere. I just got lifted up. God didn't come to make the world right. He came to get us out of it. And now shall my head be lifted up above my enemies that got me surrounded. And because of that, will I offer in this tabernacle sacrifices of joy. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I enemy still outside. Lord, I praise you. Lord, I give you glory. Lord, I magnify you doing this compassed with enemies. But they can't get in here. You in the tabernacle of the most high. Your face, Lord. Will I seek? What does that mean? Well, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. So when you seek the Word, you see the face of God. This is the person of God here. <laughs> I'm teaching that boy, oh, Jesus. <clears throat> Seven verse in Psalm 27. Here. Give ear, O oh Lord, when I cry with my voice. Have mercy once you hear me, also upon me, and then answer me. This is a prayer. All this thing here is a prayer and a praise from a king, greatest king ever lived. Mm -hmm. He's telling you about his life. And knowing God is not a respected person, this is where we live, right here. Ninth verse in Psalm 27. Hide not your face far from me. Put not your servant away in anger. You have been my help. Leave me not. Neither forsake me, O God of my salvation. When my father hey, and my mother forsake me, at that time, the Lord will take me up. Now that you're taking me up, teach me. Your way, O oh Lord. And when you teach me, then lead me. 
in a plain past because of my enemies. Don't let me go and mingle myself up with those people that try to put me in bondage. Free me, then keep me free. And God said, come out from among them and touch not that unclean thing and I'll receive you. Psalms 27 and 12. Deliver me. Not over unto the will of my enemy. You got enemies. Do you hear me? All of God's children got enemies. All of God's children got an enemy. His name is Satan. Pierre Satan. That's his French name. For false witnesses are risen up against me. Such as breathe out cruelty. People ain't going to say good things to you. You are sanctified. The Holy Spirit is the mouthpiece of God. He'll tell you, hold on to Jesus and be of good cheer. For I have written, and he said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Even to the end of the world. That's what encourages us. Thirteen verse in Psalm twenty seven, our subject is Jesus our light. I had fainted, I would have fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. What do you have to do to see? You have to believe. So what is your eyesight? Faith? We walk by faith. <laughs> mm -hmm. 13 verse in Psalm 27. Now see, teachers, I didn't plan to do this. I just opened this book and it. So I am the vessel of the teacher. His name is Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost only teach Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus will teach the Father, the Father, the Father. And the Father teach himself, his spirit, the Holy Ghost, and his Son. Triune. Three and one. See that tricycle? Perfect picture of a triune. See where the big wheel is? It's up front. See where the handlebars are? It's over the front wheel. It guides. <laughs> but look where the weight is. The weight is on the back wheels. Hmm? You see the humility of a tricycle? The back wheels are never as large as the front wheel. The front wheel is to guide. The two back wheels support the weight. So you see a tricycle, you see triune is a perfect picture of a triune. And a bicycle ain't gonna do you no good if you don't get on it. It's an instrument of motion. Didn't you hear Jesus say, Come to me, all of you that labor and heavy laden, I'll give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. I am meek. Yes, sir. And I'm lowly in heart, and you shall I'm a find rest. My subject is Jesus, our light. Never would have made it. David said in Psalm 27 13, I would have fainted. But I had this information. I believe to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. What prevents you from fainting? Seeing the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living where the devil is raising all kind of hell. You can still see the goodness of God. This is not a request. The last verse in Psalm 27 is not a request. It's a command. Wait. Down south, we had a little statement. Wait, broke the bridge down. Down south, we had a little statement. Wait, the devil pinned that to try to stop you from having a spirit of tolerance. 
Psalm 27, 14. Wait on the Lord. Now look at it. While you're waiting, be of what? Good courage. What is courage? The tenacity of faith. I got faith and that's it. I'm going to sit right here to my change. Who's your change? Jesus. Psalm 27, 14. Wait on the Lord and while you're waiting, be of good courage. Don't be in despair. Don't let time cut away your patience. Wait on the Lord. And while you're waiting, be of good courage. Now listen to me. If you're not waiting, you don't have no courage. If you don't have no courage, you can't encourage me because you can't wait on the Lord for yourself. Now that word wait ain't got no time element in it. It just said wait. Somebody wrote a song until your change come. Wait. See, you're waiting with Jesus until God give Jesus something to give you concerning him. Because if it's not of God, I don't want none of it. And all this preaching and teaching and adoration and admiration and power and surrender. David closed Psalm 27 by teaching us with the 13th verse. I had fainted all this good stuff here. The third verse says, I shall not fear. The wall rise against me, and this will I be confident. One thing I have desired, Lord, that I might seek after, that I might dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord, and to inquire in his temple. But I, I didn't faint. And I'm going to tell you, faint not. I had fainted unless I had believed. So what prevents you from fainting? Faith in Christ Jesus. You can't sing it up. You have to read it up. Christian holy songs are expressions of God's goodness. They do not bring it. They tell you about it. Surrenderance brings it. Singing Testified, you know God showed and praise you, Jesus. If if I keep on teaching you this day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year, your book ain't gonna run over. The only reason I'm not shouting now is I can't read when I shout. My job is to deliver to you the good that God gave me to read to you. Now the only good that God will give a person to share with another person is his son. Nobody in heaven is like Jesus. Nobody. And Jesus is God, but with, 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 see, Jesus is the flesh. You call him Jesus Christ. He's a flesh body with God in him. And these three become one. It's called triune. You see this tricycle? It's called a tricycle. Tri, three. Uno, dos, tres. German word, three threats. I must say to come on. For in the time of trouble, and this is what we need to get a hold to in Psalms 27 and 5. This is instruction for us. In the time of trouble, he shall hide us in his pavilion. 
in the secret place of his tabernacle is the pavilion. That's where he shall hide me. He shall set me up on a rock. First thing he did, he said, you're in trouble. I'm going to hide you in the pavilion. When you're in the pavilion, that's the secret place of the Most High. I'm going to hide you there. And when you get there, I'm going to lift you up. Because you're standing on a rock, which is the truth. And now, at this time, that I've been lifted up on a rock, at this time, shall my head be lifted up above my enemies. These scriptures are promises of total deliverance in spite of. Now, at this time, Psalm 27 and 6, shall my head, look, look, be lifted up. Not I'm going to stand up, my head going to be high. No, God lift my head up. Form of deliverance. Above my enemies, round about, we are surrounded with enemies even right now. That's a good thing. We are here in a pavilion, in the tabernacle, in the secret place of the most high. Huh? There will I offer, there, there will I offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy. I will sing, yea. I will sing praises unto the Lord, though I'm surrounded with my enemy, but I've been lifted up above them. Enemy ain't going to go nowhere. You have to be lifted up above them by your faith in the lip of His name is G Jesus. He's the hand of God and the heart of the Holy Spirit. He's our hiding place. Seven verse in Psalm 27, our subject is Jesus, our light. David's going to pray now. He's asking God in Psalm 27, Psalm 27 and 7, Hear, O Lord. When I cry with my voice. My cry now is, Lord, what? Help me. That's my prayer. He know what I he know I don't know what I need. I just know I need help. I know he got it. And he's the only place I can get it from. Uh -uh. See, you did you know I passed a church one time? I could get up and say I'm gonna take my sec text from St. John 3.16. And you see all of them going to the office to play that number. I've been there. I've seen it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And they had the so-called mother of the church. So you can do what you want to, but I'm going to do mine to get you That morning, I put my Bible up, walked out. She died and didn't know who she was. Listen to me. God said, touch not my anointed and do my servant no harm. It were better that a millstone were tied about your neck and thrown into the sea than offend one of these little, you better leave the saints alone. You better leave them alone. Leave them alone. They're God's children. And God is known in my life to be a protector of me in spite of me. And he said, I am not a respecter person. What I did for one, I owe it to another if that other one lived like this one lived. If you keep on confessing Jesus, 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 he's going to bless you. He's going to save you first. And when you're saved, listen to me, Jesus becomes God's warehouse for you. 
Everything God got is in the man called Jesus. So don't ask God the Father for nothing. He pulled himself out in God the Son. And in 1 Corinthians 15, 28, he said, When God had put all things under the foot of Jesus, that Jesus would become subject to God, that God might be all. And all the ministry of Jesus is going to cease when that last soul 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 is